Okay, you're going to like what I've got for you today. Uh, we've got an LCR meter, so we can just measure the capacitance. I'm going to show you first what this old capacitor measures. It uh, was first bought about five or six years ago, so quite a long time ago now. Um, sorry, my plug has come out. So is this one. There we go. Um, so, just connect this up on each side. The other side's already connected, and you can see the reading. We're on the microfarads at the moment. So, this one which is rated as 0.05, I don't know if you can see that, but trust me, it's rated as 0.005 microfarads, but it's actually only 0.003 microfarads according to this new meter. Let's now try the better one which I bought a couple of years ago. This is rated at 0.01 microfarads. Let's see if it makes it. 0.01 microfarads. Okay, it's going up, it's going up. Is it going to make it? No, it's going to stay there at 0 0.007 microfarads. So it's a bit under the rating, but that's what we're getting. Now, how about this, which is Mylar with a coat of the conductive ink, ordinary conductive ink, um, annealed, and then with this copper tape spread the whole way across it as a current collector on both sides. So we'll give that a try. Okay, we connect this one here. We connect the other one here. Okay, we can see which one's better. Now I'm going to show it to you. It came out actually 0 0.011, 0 0.011 a second ago, but it's a little bit down now. It's, it's like that one reads, you know, it's reading exactly the same as that one reads on it. But it, it's the best. Uh, and that's what impressed me. Now watch it on my Tesla coil with a little bit of uh, some of the conductive ink and old capacitor put on top. Okay? <laughs>